Damn. Welcome to my unboxing video of my first ever order of Hero Forge miniatures. These miniatures are all based on characters played in our great solo role-playing rules called The Nethering. Look for it everywhere. It's great. You want to get it. Anyway, and there's a cup, there's an NPC and a, and a villain character as well. But uh, just uh, we'll open her up and see what it's like. So uh, always cut away from yourself. Here we are. Never cut towards you. Like that. That's away. Now we've got to cut away this time. That's going to be awkward. We'll go back this way. There we are. So sharp tools out of the way. And there we go. There's all nicely wrapped. Box out of the way. We don't need any more. A little Ziploc bag. So I can get into it. There we go. Okay, let's open up this first one and see what we got, shall we? If we can get into it. None of these little Ziploc bags. There we go. Now we're starting to get into it. So plenty of Ziploc bags anyway. And a bit of bubble wrap around the miniature. And we'll see what miniature it is. Aha! I know this one. This is Torgan the Sellsword. He's been um, still still alive. He's still only first level character. Uses a two-handed sword. And he's been cleared a catacomb full of skeletons for some nuns. Um, there was a ghoul in there, but uh, he was a bit too heavy for him, so he, he retreated out. So that, that, one, that character's still going, that solo game. So yeah. So let's have a look, see if we can get it to focus in up here a bit closer. Will that do there? Will that focus in? Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Um, Hero Forge is a great site. Oh, by the way, we're not being sponsored at all by Hero Forge. There's no sponsorship whatsoever. This is just us um, buying miniatures. So yeah, so there we go. Even got his name underneath. Upside down, but now that's the right way. Torgar and the Sellsword. And that's their little product code. I'd say that number there. There's nothing I put there. Yeah, chain mail and the big sword. You can even see the facial features. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Wow, that's all right. Little bag of treasure between him. Cobblestone bases, just there. Yeah, quite good. How does he compare to some other miniatures? Well, here's a pre-painted one, Whiz Kids. She, he's been a stock standard favourite of just about everyone who's played the game. They always choose this miniature to represent their character. And Torgon here is based on this character. Actually, this is the miniature I used. I've had him for a long time, this one. He's a human cell sword. So, yeah, so comparable size. So that's with that lot. Um, these are Reaper bones. Ooh, that's... That's one of my characters for D&D, Podgel. He's a hedge wizard. He's never actually been on an adventure yet. I'm still creating the character, but... Oh, that's not too bad. The size is pretty much the same. They can work together well. And this is the latest... Um, is it Knowles's, um, uh Pre-primed but unpainted D&D miniatures. So that's a human ranger. Or, or could be a fighter. Yeah, he's, he, he's slightly bigger. You just match up the base, he's slightly bigger. But, like Torgan is a big bloke. He's well over six foot, so, my character. Um, so, yeah, and this bloke's hunched down, so, yeah, that's pretty comparable. And this is a Knowles' elf druid that I converted into an elf fighter with a big handed two handed sword from the Frostgrave Soldiers box set. So yeah, I, yep, they work well together because he's crouched down swinging his big two sword, two handed sword. Yeah, so so that's not too bad. Yeah, so there he is. That's Torgan the Cell Sword. Great. 
let's put him down here where you can see it. See what else we got here. Another one of these wretched Ziploc bags that I have so much trouble getting into. There we go, get rid of that. Which one's this? It's like a lucky dip. Aha! I know this one. This is another one of my characters from the Nethering, well they're all characters from the Nethering role-playing game. This is Arnulf Hammerfoot. He's a dwarf paladin and he's actually third level. He um, adventures with a character called Urquhart. He's an elf fighter. Um, yeah, so they're both third level, so they're, they're great characters. So he's just a dwarf fighter. Basically, you could use him as a dwarf fighter with a hammer and shield. But, see, little ank there, like religious, like he is a paladin. So, pile of books at the back. So, yeah, excellent. I, I, I made all my character ones with the same cobblestone base. Just so that they're all the same because we're in dungeons and the nethering is is basically all about creating labyrinths of dungeons and yeah yeah that's quite good let's see if we can focus in a bit so we can go for the close shot he's got chainmail on there's his shield and he's got his hammer i like the pose it's quite a good pose tattered cape it's quite a good sight um Hero Forge, uh, and by the way, we're not, uh, I don't know if I've said this, but I'll say it again, we're not being sponsored by Hero Forge, this is just something we've done ourselves. And there you go, there, he's a dwarf, he's a fighter. Yeah, yeah, quite good, quite good. So that's two. Let's see what the third one is. I've got three characters, one NPC and one villain, so let's see what we come up with here. Get rid of that. What's the third one? Aha! Third character. How about that? Pick the three characters all in a row. This is probably the best character I've ever created in a long time. His name's Finn Thornbottle. He's a halfling fighter with a big sword. He can't wield a great sword because he's too small. But he, he uses a long sword as a great sword. So there we go. Quite good, I quite like it. Same cobblestone base, names underneath there. Finn Thornbottle, he's like third level too, so he's quite a good character. Has issues with spider webs, he went into one dungeon and all he encountered was spider webs, but you get that. So he's, he sort of has no fear when it comes to spiders or spider webs. There we go, that's better. Let's focus in there. You get a good look. Yeah. Now, yeah, how does he focus up? How does he compare to Torgon? Yeah. Yep, that's all right. Excellent. So we've got two left. One's a NPC, and the other one is a villain, as I said before. So we'll see which one I get out. I can get into this. Aha, the NPC. This is the elf slave girl. I guess what I call the miniature. She got manacles on her ankles and her and her her wrists, and she's clad in rags. Got a little rat there beside her because she's in the dungeon and holding a torch because in the nethering you often have to rescue uh, um, someone from the baddies, from the villains and I thought why not get a miniature and do one up for the, the nethering. So there she is holding the torch up because in the dungeon, same cobblestone base. Yeah, quite good. And compare her to Torgar and the Cell Sword. Let's get my hand behind that so they stop focusing on the tablecloth. There we are. Yeah, quite good. Hmm. 
And the last one is the villain. We can get into this. The great thing about this is that um, you design characters, you, you can use standard ones from the shop, but they're not your character. They're one that stands in for your character, whereas these ones, they did exactly as you designed them. And this one is an undead high priestess. It's like almost like a mummy character. They're all clad in the, the rags. Got a zombie-like face. Yeah. Manacles on her ankles. Freshly risen from the tomb and holding a fist up defiant. I envisage her as a bit of a magic user as well. So there you go. Quite good. Uh, high Priestess. I didn't put Undead in there because it didn't fit. So, but yeah, well, obviously you can tell by her face if I can get it to focus up. Get my hand out of the road of the light. There you go. So, yeah, so that's the five miniatures. that I've ordered and I'm quite quite happy with that. Rightio, um, we'll catch you next